Joe Biden current student loan forgiveness plan is going to have taxpayers feeling like this bitch got me paying a rent. This channel is about So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. And if this is your first time visiting, I thank you for coming over here. But do me a favor, go over to my channel and I want you to check it out in its entirety. What you do is click on playlists. See all these different topics right here. These topics are all the different things that I do on this channel, which is why I call it a variety channel. Get an idea of what my channel is about in its entirety, okay? Please do that for me. You will be helping the channel algorithm but you also would be helping yourself by getting an idea of what all this channel entails once you do like that and you want to subscribe double check and make sure that this bell notification is set to all notifications all right appreciate you guys for that all right what is the dealio folkios and folkadoramas i'm ty smith you already got the intro i don't know why i'm about to say it again anyway you guys seen the article here i'm gonna get right into it it's about this student loan package that biden signed right Biden's student loan handout to cost roughly $500 billion, according to Committee for the Responsible Federal Budget. Biden plans call, it says Biden plan calls for canceling up to $20,000 in student debt for every American. Now, let's get into this right here, because I know a lot of folks will be like, wait, hold on, hold the heck on. President Biden's federal student loan forgiveness plan will cost U.S. taxpayers between $440 and $600 billion. Over the next 10 years, according to the Committee for Responsible Federal Budget, the Committee for Responsible Federal Budget settled on a central estimate of approximately $500 billion. Biden announced up to $20,000 in federal student loan forgiveness on Wednesday. Students who attended college using federal Pell Grants qualify for $20,000, but those who did not use the program qualify for $10,000 in forgiveness. The handout only applies to borrowers making less than $125,000 a year. CRFB says the central estimate for programs cost is $500 billion, according to a Thursday report. More than 43 million Americans have federal student debt, amounting to a total of more than $1.6 trillion. Nearly one third of those owe less than 10,000 and more than half or less than 20,000, according to the latest federal data. So nearly one third of those owe less than 10,000 and more than half owe less than $20,000, according to the latest federal data. Critics have argued that Biden's program will contribute to already record high levels of inflation, which it is. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell argued the program is yet another way to make inflation even worse. Reward far left activists and achieve nothing for millions of working American families who barely can tread water. Now you're getting at that middle class. I'm trying to tell you anyway. Biden, however, touted the program is a fulfillment of his campaign promise to cancel $10,000 in student debt. Democrats have initially stated that the White House lacks the authority to unilaterally cancel debt and that the president must go through Congress. People think that the president of the United States has the power to the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone. He can delay, but he does not have that power. That has to be an act of Congress. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi, Pelosi I don't know what I want to say Pelosi for Pelosi said in 2021. Biden himself doubted his authority to cancel debt through executive order last year. I don't think I have the authority to do it by signing the pen, he said in February. He knew that. Anyway, so the issue that a lot of people are having with this is that there's going to be people that y'all don't even know of that most of the folks that actually are not going to be affected by this are those. See, they don't tell y'all that like a, a great percentage of people who went off and got like their grad degree, et cetera, et cetera. In certain uh, jobs, they are going to be off the hook. Certain people who went off and got their student loans and Pell Grants, et cetera, et cetera, and have worthless degrees, they're going to be let off the hook. Yeah. And certain folks, how fair is that going to be like right now? Okay, should I call her? No, I, I was on a scholarship, whatever like that. But let's just say um, my wife and I, okay? Like my wife. My wife had loans and all that, you know? But let's just say with this being put in place, I'm like, okay, I've been taking care of my family, right? And I'm paying, since I, you know, breadwinner, I'm bringing this money in. I'm paying for my wife's debt. 
right? But now it's like our debt, but you know, it's her debt. So do I have to tell my employer, hey, hey, tell you what, I want to bless y'all. Can y'all take my pay down, like down so I don't make over 125000 a year so I can, you know, right? <laughs> I wouldn't do that, folks. But I'm just saying, a lot of folks probably going to be thinking something like that. But this right here is another smack in the face to the middle class. This is a smack in the face to people who work their butts off. Some people work two or three jobs, you know, doing extra jobs off to the side because they probably put their children through college, whatever like that. And now these other people can just get off the hook just like that, huh? Now, some folks, I'm just being, y'all just be real. Some of y'all who might have had this, y'all like, well, you know, I don't like Biden, but you know, I did have a student loan that. And I don't make no 125000 a year. So um, mm, who y'all think is going to definitely get off the hook on a lot of this? Just be honest. Be honest. Answer that question in the comment section. I'm not even going to give my thought on that. I want you to tell me without, you no, know, don't walk on the eggshells. Don't be scared. Are you going to be called racist? Are you going to be called something? Are you going to be called a bigot? Are you going to be called misogynistic? Are you going to be called a, a suppressor or an oppressor? Don't be scared. Who you think is going to benefit the most from having these student debts forgave, for, forgiven? People that like uh, get, like I said, those that have certain type of degrees that amounted to nothing. And like they said, it's going to produce a whole lot of people that are activists. And not only that, they said this is a way for Joe Biden to put this out there to bribe people, bribe. Here it is again. The handouts is a way to bribe. I'm telling you right now because y'all know what's getting ready to come this november and you know what's going to be coming most likely in 2024 what better way to bribe people okay we running out of options okay they're starting to catch on to the racist thing oh man they starting to, they're not they're not falling for that rhetoric okay they fought they 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 they, they outed blm oh god they're out oh now everybody know who george soros is oh everybody know what bill gates is up to. oh everybody knows what fauci is up to oh everybody knows what's going on with the mask and all. oh everybody know what's going on with this whole COVID. Thing. oh everybody know what's going on with the shots oh man what other way can we get oh man man man, man. i know what give them some handouts money Money. No different than, hey, food stamps and all that. Welfare is no different than that. It's a shame because guess what? People who work their butt off, such as myself, and who are who's doing well for themselves, we're going to have to pick up that tab. Yep, you heard they can say all they want to. No, Biden can say, if you make this X amount of money, you're not going to be taxed. Oh, yeah, you're being taxed. You're going to be, you're going to, we, we're being taxed, folks. We're going to tax the rich. Yeah, freaking right. The middle class always is going to be the one to take it the hardest, plain and simple. Now, I know about this because I made myself, I made something of myself. But when I was like broke going, you know, going through college and all this, da, 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 da. I didn't even, I, I couldn't even comprehend what people were saying when they were saying things like, oh, my taxes are going to pay for this. I'm like, I don't even know what y'all even talking about. Now that I'm in it, I'm like, well, dang, we got to Now we, so now, you know, now we got to front this bill. Yeah, we're going to have to, folks. They can say all they want to do not fall. The government is going to flat out lie. Taxpayers are going to have to pay for this because some people decided to go to school and not to say that the people didn't. I'm not saying that folks that are being forgiven are irresponsible, but there are a lot of people that they irresponsibly went in there and they got, they, I mean, like they, 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 this is irresponsible. They don't have to have no responsibility for paying off a debt that they created. What would y'all feel like if you go, into a, I don't know, let's just say, a, 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 I don't know, a, a restaurant, right? You go into a restaurant, you got your meal, you eating everything like that, da, 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 da. And then they announce, uh, guys, unfortunately, uh, those that were able to eat at the buffet, that had the steak and the crab legs and the uh, filet mignon and the T-bones and the porterhouse and the, uh, the shrimp, and lobster, unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to pay for the lower people's tab at the buffet. That yeah, they they can they 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 they're paying on their buffet, you know. But they have like the 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 cheap cuts of meat, and they have like you know the stuff that is really not y'all y'all see them getting that. Don't even go there. You you know what I'm getting at. They got like the lower quality stuff. They got hot dogs and you know uh, you know ground beef and. Things like that of the sort. They got, you know, food out of a can. They got that. But uh, unfortunately, because of the fact that they are kind of, you know, struggling a little bit to pay it. They can't pay it, but, you know, it's just a little tough on them. You know, we want all of you guys that's eating at the higher upper buffet to pick up that tab. They're being forgiven for it. But y'all going to pick up the tab. 
Come on, y'all. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. That's what it's going to do. But anyway, again, I want you guys to answer me. What pop? You can say what population of people. I don't care what race of people. What uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What demographic of people who's going to be just flat out off the hook on this right here? Let me know by leaving the comments below this video, folks. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So, again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.